Welcome to day three of the letter R in the NC alphabet. Now, the real magic comes when you start to add color to this because, of course, paint is very colorful. So pick a nice bright color that you love and let's start to give it some of that painted look. You can go in and erase a little bit around the edge just to lighten up your lines so that they don't show through in your coloring. Remember, you definitely don't have to erase everything. Just take the extra lead off especially so that it won't smudge on the end of your felt pen. You can use one color or a combination of colors. If you want to get depth, you'll want to use two colors of a related tone. But let's start off with our lighter color and just color in the entire letter. If you want to add more dimension to this, you can take a darker color and go, oh my goodness, <laughs> hopefully a darker color where the lid will come off for you. But you can take that darker color and just go around the edges and then blend it out with the lighter color. So get in there before it's dry and blend it out back into the main area of color. So I like to add the darkness on the right hand side of the letter. If that's not natural for you and for you work adding the darkness on the left side works better, then of course that's what you should do. So just draw that darker color on there and I like to use a circular motion to sort of blend it out. And then one nice filling stroke to then blend that circular motion in with the rest of it. Draw the dark, circular motion, especially along the edge. So I'm leaving some fully dark and then do your circle motion. Then these Crayolas are perfect because you can then blend it out with the side of your marker and you don't end up with all of those little marker lines. So even do a little bit down here. It's amazing what you can do with some of the most simple tools. One final addition would be if you have a white pen handy to add a little bit of white on the side opposite of the shadow. It doesn't even have to be a straight line, just little areas almost like there's a bit of a reflection on some wet, splattered paint. Sometimes the gel pen doesn't show up quite as well as you would want, but office supplies, what about some whiteout? I'm gonna go see if I can find any. Check to see if you have any in your house as well, because that would be the perfect way to add those white pops on here. We're in luck. I found one. Oh, you had to know that these sorts of things were going to come in handy one day. So get in there and play around with this paint splatter technique. It's definitely cleaner than actually spilling paint, but has a really, really fun effect. Also, if you do it in blue like this, it can look like water splatter, really anything that could splatter. Oatmeal splatter, blood splatter. No, don't do that one. Just pick your color and that's the splatter you've got. Happy creating. Don't forget to share your work with the hashtag NCAlphabet and let's continue creating together. I'll see you next time.